Type dispatching is a technique for implementing cross-type operations. So we've been emphasizing throughout our discussion of data that it's important to have independence among abstract data types. Data abstraction and class definition were all about keeping types separate. But some operations need access to the implementations of two different abstractions. And this just happens sometimes when you have cross-type operations. So how do we add together a complex number and a rational number? Well, we need to know at the same time that rational numbers are numerators and denominators, and that complex numbers are two-dimensional vectors with a real and an imaginary component. We need both of these pieces of information at the same time in order to define a function like add complex and rational, which takes in a complex number and a rational number, and it returns a complex number where the real component is the complex real plus a floating point approximation to the rational number, which we get just by dividing the numerator by the denominator. And the imaginary component stays the same because rational numbers are entirely real. Okay, so this might seem like an abstraction barrier violation in order to access both of these implementations at the same time. And it is, but it's necessary, so it's okay. This is a cross-type function, and we can define other cross-type functions for multiplication and switching the orders of rational and complex. Then we need to figure out how to fit all these things together. And that's where type dispatching comes into play. So type dispatching defines a different function for every possible combination of cross-types and operations whenever the type combination and the operations are valid. I'll just go through the code quickly, and then we're going to actually retype it all together, just so that we can go through the details. But the high-level story is that we'll create a way to identify what's rational and what's complex using a type tag attribute. You don't have to do this. You could use built-in inspection of what classes are being used, but this makes the code pretty clean to put a string value for rational and complex numbers that identifies those. And the story here is that values or objects with the same tag have the same interface. So you can add rationals together, you can add complex numbers together, but what you can't do is cross type tags until we add type dispatching. So we're gonna add type dispatching to the number class itself by rewriting add to be more complicated than it was before. It will say that if the two things we're adding together have the same type tag, so if they're both rational or both complex, then we can just defer to the add method on self because we already know that that works. But if they're not, then we have a dictionary of adder functions. And we look up the type tag pair in that dictionary to see if it's possible to apply a cross type arithmetic function that adds these things together. Okay, so what's adders? Well, that's a dictionary of all the forms of cross-type addition available for self. And we'll just write them out as a class attribute dictionary that says, if you wanna sum together complex and rational, use add complex and rational. And a rational and a complex number, you'd add rational and complex. Okay. We do need to define this function called cross apply, which just looks up the function and calls it. Let's go to the details. So as I said, we're going to just rewrite number. And it's gonna say, if self.type tag is equal to other.type tag, then we'll do what we did before. Otherwise, we wanna see if the combination of the first arguments type and the second arguments type is something that we know how to add together. Then we'll return what you get by invoking cross apply on other using the set of adder functions. Now, what did we need? 
we needed the adder functions themselves, which had, for instance, how to add together a complex number and a rational number, and how to add together a rational and a complex number. Now, what were those functions? Add complex and rational. Well, what we had to do was return what you get by adding those together, which in general will be a complex number that has the real component of C and a floating point representation of R, followed by the imaginary component of C. And what's add rational and complex? Well, it turns out that addition is commutative, so we can just call add complex and rational on C and R, and we're done. OK, so the last piece is called cross-apply. Now, cross-apply is just meant to take the right function among our inventory of cross-type functions and apply it. For type dispatching in general, you want to use the types of the arguments to decide what function to call. And you just have to have functions available for every type of valid cross-type operation. So the general form here is going to be that we take other and we take the dictionary full of functions that we might want to apply. We're going to pick out from that dictionary the particular cross function that's useful for the types of the arguments that we have. Make sense? Good. Then we apply that cross function, which is supposed to do the right thing for self and other. Finally, I have to make sure that these type tags are set up. So we can add them as class attributes right here. All rationals have a type tag ret and all complex numbers have a type tag com. Oh, I found a little mistake here. I needed to pass in self as the first argument to this method, just like any other method. OK. Now we can test our implementation. So now it's the case that if I have 1 half expressed as a rational number, and I have a complex number, 1 plus 1i, Adding them together will give me 1.5 plus 1i, which is a cross-type operation. I can also show you the implementation that includes multiplication. So multiplying a complex and a rational number is a little bit more involved because you have to figure out the right magnitude and angle representation of the rational number, which means you have to check whether the division of numerator and denominator gives you a negative number or not, and set the angle to either 0, the positive reals, or pi, the negative reals. And then you apply the formula for multiplying complex numbers together. And the rest of this is exactly what I said. We type dispatch for add, we type dispatch for multiply. If the type tags are ever different, we're going to use cross-apply, passing in either the adders or the multipliers, which are just dictionaries full of functions that actually perform cross-type arithmetic.